Okay, good afternoon everybody. It is Sunday. This week's video, we pretty much haven't had time to get out there and enjoy it. The weather's actually been crap as well. If you're sort of in the northern part of New Zealand, you would know that it's we've had a lot of rain this week. It's onshore. Pretty much right off out there. Um, this video is just about a pretty much a plain and simple gun update where I'm at. We were at with um, getting stuff online and actually ready for sale. Yeah! Okay, so we've been, I've been using this, my 110, for a couple months now, whatever it's been. Um, uh, pretty basic, 260mm rubbers, a 7.5mm shaft, uh, all nep Neptonics gear. Very, very good. I have been more than happy with this gun. I've actually been quite impressed for a first go. So, pretty much where I'm at. Um, sorry, the wood in this too was Jarrah, which I did manage to track some down on. So next up, we've got this one here for Jason. Now this is just basically modeled off my one. We've actually got some blue outer fiberglass strips on it. It's much more refined than my one. We've got a little, slight little bit of uh, engraving going on down the side here. Um, foam bum pads. This gun here has had its clear coat so it's ready to assemble um, tomorrow. So probably by the time this video goes up, it'll actually be in one piece. Um, ready to use for Jason, so we're really stoked on this. Again, the blue strips were just something I was trialing at the time of uh, machining these. I actually think it looks bloody cool, and myself and Archie were working away in the shop here yesterday, and I thought, imagine it with carbon strips, because you'd get little carbon bits down it, and it would look shit hot. So that might be a form of model later on. Um, it's quite fiddly to do over normal, so it you know may or may not happen. Uh, we've got one here for Archie, which is kind of just a day behind. We're just going to doing little touch-ups. It does have right here a little bit of power shell embedded, which we had to learn how to cut that yesterday and get it in there. You can still feel the texture of the shell. Like, like it won't be a dead flat piece. It's obviously very hard to find a dead flat piece of power. Um, but little touches like that won't be cheap in any of the guns because that took bloody ages to put in there. <laughs> so um, whether or not it's worth doing, I don't know, it's kind of an aesthetic thing. Um, almost basically an identical gun. Um, it's Jason's, and where the hell is this one? And this is the very first Oroko shafted one. Now these are actually gonna be the production guns, as I've touched on before. Um, they look quite plain like most guns, but they have fiberglass laminates down all the, there's actually three pieces of fiberglass throughout the construction of this gun, which makes these shafts incredibly strong and very good i hope so um this one here i think will be going to brad down at Fokatani wild island so i've just glued the bum pad on this morning um that obviously cures and then we pull all the tape off this isn't far from being finished either he'll just have to pick his sort of bands and shaft specs like that and then we'll fit this out um that's kind of what the roco looks like Ah, sorry again, that is also a 110. The 110 is very popular. It's also the model I, I kind of feel, just functionality wise, is probably best overall for us locally. Like a 110 with two rubbers, whether they be 14s or 16s. Um, you know, it, it's purely up to you guys out there if it's a gun for you. And I've just been putting holes and milling um, a couple more rocker shafted ones here. So the, these are kind of like a day behind this one. Um, we've just got to get every, all the mechs fitted in this and then you sort of do a dry fit, make sure everything's good. Then they get a coat of resin. This Oroko here hasn't had any resin on it yet, so you'd expect it to darken up and the grain will pop out of it a lot. So um, I'm sealing all the guns with epoxy resin over than just like a very plain teakle and be much more hard wearing and much more uh, long term dur water durability because there's certainly no soak through epoxy resin. So um, that's where we're at with guns. As mentioned, all of these in production right now are 110s. I can do basically anything from 80s all the way through you know, through to whatever. I've got some shafts up there that are set up for kind of 130s, 140s, more blue water guns. They also run a thicker fiberglass in them, so they're, they're damn bulletproof. Well, damn near close to bulletproof um, gun stocks. So that is, of course, where I'm at with those. These will be priced at 650 for a 110. Um, they will go up a little bit, of course, if we go a bit bigger, and though I may be able to do them a little bit cheaper. They are not cheap. 
Now don't ask for second hand guns, there's no second hand guns available, there's no test guns, there's no nothing. Um, that is what they're priced at, probably most people don't want to pay it, that is fine, don't buy one. They are handmade here in New Zealand with the very best parts you can get anywhere in the world and that is how we intend them to be. I am going to be looking at a few more wood options, like we'd, I'd love to do some like kind of Kauri or like Kauri Jarrah or we may even do some like Oroko Jarrah shafted ones which the laminates like the contrast in the laminates will be um, you know completely different colour of the wood so we're, I'm going to keep tutoring um, if you are interested in a gun and that is within your budget of course feel free to get in touch with me and just let's let's chew the fat and, and try to think up something cool because you do have the option of doing that and I can do that you know almost within reason for not much more in cost if, if any um, and to touch lastly, I finally have some fins here for sale, I've got a couple pairs, um, I will be again still twittering with a couple little things, these are going to be 320 cent to you, the way we're doing it I do not have foot pockets for sale, that is something that everyone keeps asking me and thinks it's included in the price which it, which it is not, it's not included in the price with anyone when they do fins, so um, these will be 320 just for the blade, the easiest way to do it is send me your foot pocket that you want to use and I'll fit them and then I'll send the whole thing back, that, that is kind of the easiest way, these I feel are very good and I have been very happy with them to date, we've pretty much eliminated the problems um, and need to get them on the market. So these will be up online, I'll drop all the links down below, these will be online for sale uh, by the time this video goes up. So making progress, making lots of progress here before Christmas, um, you know, if you are interested in anything, uh, skim boards of course as well, uh, feel free to drop me a line and of course if you're not a... You know, if you're polite and actually a nice person, you may even get a little deal if you if you tell me you've seen this video. So, um, yep, I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.